This video will show you how to solve quadratic equations by factoring. First off, an equation like this, ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero, is a quadratic equation. It has an x squared in it. It's a different kind of equation than what we have solved before. So x squared plus 10x plus 24 equals zero is an example of a quadratic equation. An equation that you solved earlier, something like 3x plus 12 equals 18, is not a quadratic equation. This kind of equation you solve much differently than what you will do with the quadratic equation. With this equation, all we did was think about getting x alone by doing the opposite. So we subtracted 12 from both sides, and once we did that, then we divided by 3, and we would have solved for the x. This is going to be a different situation. Because of the x squared, we can't just get the x alone the same way we did this. So before we actually start into a quadratic equation, here's a property we're going to use to do this. It's called the zero product property. And it says if a times b equals zero, then either a equals zero or b equals zero. What that means is if we played a little game and I said, OK, I just multiplied two numbers together and got zero, can you tell me what one of the numbers is? Of course you could. One of the numbers is zero. You might not know what the other number was, but if you multiplied two numbers together and gotten zero, then one of them had to be zero. You don't know which one, either a equals zero or b equals zero. We're going to use that fact to solve these quadratic equations. This is an example of a zero product property. Now it's not just an a and a b, but we are multiplying two things together and got zero. So if that's the case, either this is what equals 0, or this is what equals 0. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to set each one of those equal to 0. And what we have created are two very simple little equations to solve. x minus 2 equals 0. To get the x alone, we do the opposite, which is add 2 to both sides. Same thing with the x minus 5. Do the opposite, which is add 5 to both sides, which is going to give us these solutions, x equals 2 and x equals 5. Now you might say, wait a minute, that doesn't look like a quadratic. There's no x squared there. Hopefully you recognize from your foiling days that if we multiplied x minus 2 times x minus 5 together, we get x squared minus 7, x plus 10, which is a quadratic. So here's a problem from the beginning. Here's a quadratic equation. It says x squared minus 5x plus 6 equals 0. The only way we're going to be able to solve this is to factor. Now this video assumes you know your factoring techniques. If you're pretty shaky on factoring, you need to go back and look at all the factoring videos that we have posted. So x squared minus 5x plus 6 is going to factor into x minus 3 times x minus 2. Because at this point, all we're saying to ourselves is what multiplies to give me 6, that adds to give me 5. As soon as you have written it as something times something equals 0, you can separate this out. Set that equal to 0, set that equal to 0. So we have very simply x minus 3 equals 0, x minus 2 equals 0. Two very simple one-step equations to solve. On this one, add 3 to both sides. On this one, add 2 to both sides. And we have x equals 3 and x equals 2. Changes our factoring technique just a bit, but the solving will be the same. This will factor into 2x minus 3 times x plus 2. Perhaps you're using tic-tac-toe to do the factoring. You can pause the video and see if you can get this factored into these factors. Once you have factored it, you're going to set these equal to 0. So you're going to have two different problems set equal to 0 to solve. This one requires a little bit more work than this does. Because there's a coefficient here, we're going to have to do two steps. To get this 2x alone, we're going to have to add 3 to both sides. And once we do that, we're going to have to divide by 2. So adding 3 to both sides is what gives me 2x equals 3. And then solve this by dividing both sides by 2. We get the x alone, and we have x equals 3 halves. Over here, x plus 2 equals 0 is pretty easy to solve. All we need to do is subtract 2 from both sides. Any of these equations can be checked by taking this number and plugging it back in for x. If we plug this back in for x, we're going to plug it in for this x, and we're going to plug it in for this x and do the arithmetic. That would be 2 times negative 2 squared plus negative 2 
equals uh, minus 6 should equal 0. If we complete this arithmetic, it's going to work. Negative 2 squared is a positive 4 times 2 is 8. Then 8 minus 2 minus 6 does equal 0. It checks. We would get the same result if we plug 3 halves in for x. So every one of these equations can be checked by taking the answer we got for x and plugging it back in. One major rule about solving quadratic equations by factoring is that the equation must be in descending order set equal to zero. The first couple problems were in the perfect setup for using factoring. This right here is going to require one little step. To get this equal to zero, all we need to do is subtract 9 from both sides. Realizing, of course, that 9 and 8x are not like terms. I'm not going to be able to lump this together. All I'm doing is moving the 9 to the other side, and I get this quadratic equation. Now I'm ready to factor this. This will factor as x minus 9 times x plus 1. Set each part equal to 0. And then solve. Add 9 to both sides. Subtract 1 from both sides. And we have 9 and negative 1. Another one that's not in the right form. To get this in the right form, I'm going to want to add 7x and at the same time subtract 20 from both sides, which will put my equation over on the left side equal to 0. You could pause and see if you could factor this on your own before you continue. And the way this will factor is 3x minus 4 times 2x plus 5. That will check out and give you the positive 7x in the middle. Once it's factored equal to 0, set that equal to 0, set that equal to 0, which is shown here. And then you just have two little simple two-step equations to solve. To get this x alone, You'll start by adding 4 to both sides. On this one, you'll start by subtracting 5 from both sides. And then this is just simple division. Divide both of these by 3. On this one, divide both of these by 2. And you'll have those answers. x equals 4 thirds, x equals negative 5 halves. This video is continued in the video Solving Quadratics by Factoring Part 2.